So if you have experienced a loss, a miscarriage, first of all, I'm so sorry. I know that must be so painful and frustrating for you. But I wanted to share a story of hope, a share of inspiration um, of someone like you, likely with similar circumstances, and what they were able to do to influence and change their future. So my name is Crystal Melanson. I am a functional fertility practitioner, and I help women and couples maximize and mend their fertility naturally to conceive and have healthy pregnancies. So my client, she had experienced multiple miscarriages before we met, and she was overcome with this crippling anxiety, really, of getting pregnant again. And when it would happen, you know, what to eat, what to avoid, what to do. She was so scared to do the wrong thing and scared that she was causing the miscarriages or something that she was doing was influencing this. And she had no idea what to do. And she was not getting help from her doctors, right? Um, they were just telling her to kind of keep trying. There wasn't really anything she could do. Um, maybe you've been told to just do like IVF or something, which is not guaranteed at all either. And she was very frustrated because she wanted to prepare differently. She was at this point where I can't just keep doing things the same way, right? And so she was ready to change it and she wanted to do this naturally and she wanted to use natural approaches to help her body and to help prevent loss. And what happened is we started working together to see what we could do, how we could support her body in this way and with this goal. It, overall, she felt like she was healthy, right? She felt healthy. She was aware that she had a thyroid condition, but her doctors didn't think that was influencing it. She just had no idea, right? And so another perspective that I brought in and that we discussed was that we had to consider, you know, even though it is never your fault, it's never your fault that you lose a baby, right? That's, that's not true. But we have to consider, you know, is this your body's way of telling you that you might need more support, right? That your body might need more love too, that it needs more help in love so it can support another life. And you know, when our bucket is full, then we can fill other buckets. But if ours is not and it's struggling, right, then we can't very well take on any other tasks. We can't fill any other buckets. We can suffer, you know, we can have holes and leaks and our body can't do the incredible but huge job of conceiving and having a healthy pregnancy. So we wanted to consider this was, well, what, what is your body telling you? What is this saying and what, what can we do to explore this? And so what we did when I started working with her is first we, we started investigating broader and deeper than what her doctors and even specialists were looking at, right? Um, because often what they're looking at, they have to stay in a very straight line of what they can explore, insurance, the way the medical system is, right? Where we wanted to go deeper than that. We didn't want to be surface level. We wanted to see really what could be affecting her body and what might be factoring into her miscarriage risk. So for example, right, we got even deeper into her thyroid health. We found that it wasn't being supported well at all, even though it was within her, you know, normal range. We knew correlating with research, with evidence, that this was increasing her miscarriage risk and we needed to support it differently. We found that her adrenals and her body were uh, really stressed and likely not producing the hormones, progesterone, things that are necessary to carry and grow a baby. We looked into nutrient levels um, and there are certain ones, especially that are linked to inflammation that are linked to a higher risk of miscarriage, such as vitamin D. And it's often not looked at in the correct way. She had been told all these things had been fine, where we know actually according to research and evidence that that's not the case, right? Because we want to 
look at these test results with not just being normal, not just having a disease or not, but that your body, that your fertility needs to be optimal. It needs to be functioning the best it can be when we want to conceive, right? Increase the chances of getting pregnant easily and reduce the risk of loss. We want your body to be optimal. And so her thyroid, her system, it was telling us that there was a lot of inflammation, that there were triggers that could be impacting um, her health and that it wasn't functioning the best it could be. That it didn't feel safe, right? Once again, your body has to feel safe. Your own bucket needs to be full before we can take on these other big jobs well. So with this information, we then were able to have a clear strategy of what to do, right? Without all, a lot of trial and error, but we to help. And so we used nutrition, right? We used nutrition, food is medicine. We used targeted supplements her body actually needed to help her thyroid, to help her immune system, reduce inflammation, optimize these nutrient levels, right? To get her in a place where she was feeling better, she noticed her anxiety was decreasing a lot, her body was feeling better, and she understood how to eat, what to do on a daily basis in a sustainable way moving forward right? In a way that she knew not just for this goal, but how to support her health. We adjusted her lifestyle habits. We worked on sleep, exercise, her liver, her gut, all these things that are critical and why we need to have a comprehensive approach when we're looking at doing these big tasks of reducing risk of loss, right? And, and seeing what could be factoring into your fertility. So um, within about nine, 10 weeks, she got pregnant again. And she felt much more confident going into this pregnancy, knowing that she took action to prevent loss. Her anxiety was so much lower um, because she implemented these changes once again in a sustainable way. She could sustain them moving forward. It wasn't this sudden like, oh gosh, I'm pregnant. Like now what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out, right? What do I need to change? It was Oh, great, I'm pregnant and I know what I'm doing. I've been supporting my body. I know how to ease into this, right? It's a different empowerment. It's a different confidence going forward. And of course, she was scared. She was scared of losing a baby again. That's always going to be there. But when you feel this confidence in yourself and that you've, you've done what you could to influence, right? There's a much more, there's more grace, right? There, there can be more grace for yourself where you can feel a little bit more calm with that, which is what she explained to me that she was really feeling going this time around. And so we monitored her pregnancy, helped make sure again that she was advocating for herself with her doctors. We were checking her risk levels once again in a different view. I have that different view of optimal, right? Really leaning in on what we can do to prevent. And so she was able to ask for help from her doctors when necessary. And she's now expecting her beautiful baby in a few weeks. And uh, it's been a wonderful, you know, the baby is growing well. And she was able to do this and feel confident in the entire process. And so please know I know it can feel so overwhelming, right? And it's not your fault. It's never your fault if you've lost a baby, but you do have options to help prepare differently, right? To feel more confident moving forward, to empower yourself and to once again, listen to your body of, is it trying to tell me that I need something? Because you matter too, right? You matter. So if you want to learn more um, about how to support fertility and the program I use to help clients like this, please comment below, shoot me a message. Um, I hope that this gives you some, some hope, some inspiration. It's important that we also share these stories so that you can, envisualize, you can envision this for yourself, right? Because you can do it too. So comment below, message me if you want to chat about how this program and this perspective might help you.